It's showtime. Yes, sir. Ready to go. Ready. You know what we got to play for showtime. Showtime. I do. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. We're going to have a story about a dentist today. It's on a smile. If you're happy and you know it, make a smile. If you're happy and you know it, make a smile. If you're ready for a story, sit down. If you're ready for a story, be quiet. If you're ready for a story, then you do what I tell you. Sit down. Put your hands in your lap. Be quiet. And listen to Miss Laura. Miss Laura. We have got such a good story today. And you know my tooth has been really hurting me, Miss Maddie. I'm so sorry. You think you got a cavity? Uh -huh. I'm so, not sure. Uh, you need to have a dentist look at it. I do. Uh -huh. But every single time I eat a whole bunch of candy. Well, you know, that's probably the problem there. Candy's not real good for your teeth. Really? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Too much sweets. It kind of... Not good on them, you know. Makes little holes in them called cavities sometimes. Oh, mm -hmm. that must be the problem. I guess I need to go see Dr. DeSoto. I expect you do too. Okay. He seems like a pretty reliable dentist. He does. Well, she tell us a little bit about him. Okay, okay. I want to tell you the story about Dr. DeSoto. And I noticed it's such a funny story about William Stig and it's got kind of an award on it. Oh, he won an mm -hmm. award. Well, huh? look, I, I, I went around, rattled around in Scooter Mouse's closet, and he liked the story so much. He had the pictures, too. So I'm going to show my picture, and okay. you, show, you read the book, and I'll show the picture. Now, there is Dr. DeSoto, and you can see right away that Dr. DeSoto is a mouse. Okay. Now, then, Dr. DeSoto works only on things like mice and sweet animals. He does not work on cats. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't think he would work on any kind of an animal that likes to have a mouse for dessert, would you think? Oh, probably not. Yeah, so he had that in his sign in there. I don't know whether that's well, in there. Well, he probably wouldn't work on my teeth then. Well, I don't know. You're mighty sweet. Well, I eat a lot of sweet. Well, I know it, but you wouldn't be mean to him, would you? Hope not, See, but now, if he it. hurts, I might bite him. Oh, well, I don't know whether he won't work on you or not then. Look, mm. there he is now. He's working. Now, look, this is what you see. Dr. DeSoto, his wife is his nurse. Oh, okay. And that's really good. So she works with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, they must have an apartment. See, that? They, this is good. Oh. See him looking out that window? They must have an office and an apartment upstairs over a store in, a, in their town. Now, see, they looking at I think that would be fun if you had an apartment or you lived up over a store up on the second or third floor. You know, you could watch and see what all was going on down on the street. And that's what him and his wife, see, they're watching. And look, there's his sign. I'm gonna read, you read the sign to him. Okay? I read the sign. Okay, the sign's not in this one. Well, it's in this one. You can read okay. it off the Okay, now let's see what it, it says. It says, Dr. DeSoto Dentist. Mm -hmm. Cats and other dangerous animals not accepted see that? for treatment. Now, he's already told in his sign you didn't come upstairs to his office because you know, if you are a cat or you are a uh, uh, well, I would say like a... A, a, a dog, a fox. fox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say anything like that. He's not going to work on your teeth. Okay? Because they might eat and, it. And, you know, it doesn't make any difference. It's, it's a, it could be a big animal. But as long as they're sweet, he didn't mind. I'll show you how he works on a big animal. Go ahead. Now. Okay. 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 Dr. DeSoto, the dentist, did very good work, so he had no end of patience. Those close to his own size, moles, chipmunks, etc., sat in the regular dentist's chair. Larger animals sat on the floor while Dr. DeSoto stood on a ladder. Okay, now see, that
there is, you see there's a little bitty chair right there by his wife, and that's what he puts little small animals in, mice and little chipmunks and squirrels, he put them in that little chair there, but they like to see a pig, not mean, pigs are sweet. Mm -hmm. And so he works on pigs, but he's, that's a challenge for him, so he got to get his stepladder out. And look, there's Mr. Soto, she's standing down there with all of his, his uh, equipment, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to help him out, and he has to climb up there. See, he has quite a job. He does. I, yeah, to work on a, a pig, I would think that is a job. And see, he has to come up there and, and just work on her. So, and wait, wait, let's see, here's another one, too. Uh, it, does it show in, in your, your book? For on? extra large animals, he has a special room. There, Dr. DeSoto was hoisted up to the patient's mouth by his assistant, <laughs> who also happened to be his wife. <laughs> Yeah, y'all will love this book. Come get it at the library. You will just love it. Oh, that's great. Now, here, I got Scooter Mouse's picture. I'll hold it out with him and see it. See, you working on that cow. <laughs> Dr. DeSoto was especially popular with the big animals. He was able to work inside their mouths wearing rubbers to keep his feet dry, and his fingers were so delicate and his drill so dainty they could hardly feel any pain. <laughs> Miss Laura, what do I feel for that cow, for a mouse to be walking around in your mouth with his with his rubber boots on, <laughs> banging on your tooth? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay. Being a mouse, he refused to treat animals dangerous to mice, and it said so on his sign. When the doorbell rang, he and his wife would look out the window. They wouldn't admit even the most timid looking cat. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, a mouse and cat just don't get with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna do. One day when they looked out, they saw a well-dressed fox with a flannel bandage around his jaw. I cannot treat you, sir, Dr. DeSoto shouted. Sir, haven't you read my sign? See, but now the, the fox is saying, please, please. I'm gonna make a fox voice, please. Please help me, oh, 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 please. Now he's real pitiful, show him, look that he's got crocodile, I got it. Scooter Mouse made that picture, he got that. Look, look at him crying, big tears, look at that. Oh, 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 I'm hurt so bad, it's been hurt me, I haven't been able to eat for days. Please, please, I won't hurt you. Just a moment, said Dr. DeSoto. That poor fox, he whispered to his wife, what shall we do? Let's risk it, said Mrs. DeSoto. She pressed the buzzer and let the fox in. And see, they are sweet, Mr. Mm -hmm. Dr. DeSoto and his wife, and they took pity on him. Now you won't, it's just watch. Don't, don't leave this door. Okay. He was up the stairs in a flash. Bless your little hearts, he cried, That's falling to fox his fox. knees. Say that again. Bless your little hearts. I beg you, do something. My tooth is killing me. Sit on the floor, said Dr. DeSoto, and remove the bandage, please. Mm, this is scary. Okay. Mm. See, and he's begging him. He's saying, oh, please. Oh, 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 oh. watch him. You have to watch those boxes. Mm. Okay. Dr. DeSoto and his wife's getting ready. Mm -hmm. They're going to wash their hands mm -hmm. and get all ready to look at mm -hmm. that fox's mouth. And, and y'all look, I, 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 see, Miss DeSoto, she got a nice little apron on, mm -hmm. and then Dr. DeSoto, he got his little outfit on like he's your dentist when you go to the dentist, they have his white, white jackets on, you know. Right. He looked very professional. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did. Okay. Well, Dr. DeSoto climbed up the ladder and bravely entered the fox's mouth. Oh, ow! Oh, he gasped. The fox had a rotten bicuspid and an unusually bad breath. Oh, you yeah, see, it's all sore and in inflamed today, and they're thinking mm. he's hurting me. Oh, 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 he's really carrying on. He's a big sissy, really. Wait a minute now. Here, let me show you. Okay, here we go. This tooth will have to come out, Dr. DeSoto uh -oh. announced, but we can make you a new one. Oh, just stop the pain, whimpered the fox, wiping some tears away. Despite his misery, he realized he had a tasty little morsel in his mouth and his jaw began to quiver. Uh -huh. Keep open, yelled Dr. DeSoto. Wide open, See, yelled I, his wife. Don't, don't you think they're beginning to kind of really feel a little bit uneasy? Now look, y'all, he gonna give them gas, you know, that, that makes you uh -huh. I'm okay. giving you gas now, mm -hmm. said Dr. DeSoto. <laughs> And you look, won't feel a thing when I yank that tooth. Miss Laura, Miss Laura, Miss DeSoto, she got a little gas tank. 
And they got all the little equipment. Isn't that the funniest thing? <laughs> Soon the fox was in dreamland. Mm -mm. See, now he's Yummy. That makes his tooth Mumble. quit hurting him, see, and he's not even going to feel Dr. DeSoto. And he doesn't like know what he's saying because he's in La La Land. <laughs> How I love them raw with just a pinch of salt. And a <laughs> he's talking dry. about eating. He's dreaming. Mm -hmm. They could guess what he was dreaming about. Mrs. DeSoto handed her husband a pole to keep the fox's mouth open. <laughs> He probably, probably that schoolmaster didn't have a picture of that. Show the kids that picture. They have, yeah. Oh, they've no, got, so well, the he's pulling the tooth out. Yeah, but, Dr. DeSoto fastened his extractor to the bad <laughs> tooth. Then he and his wife began turning the winch. Finally, with a sucking sound, the tooth popped out and hung, swaying in the air. <laughs> I'm bleeding, the fox yelped when he came to. Dr. DeSoto ran up the ladder and stuffed some gauze in the hole. The worst is over, he said. I'll have your new tooth ready by tomorrow. Be here at 11 sharp. The fox, still woozy, said goodbye and left. On his way home, he wondered if it would be shabby of him to eat the DeSotos when the job was done. See, he's body hurt. Wait, look at him, see, he's thinking about it. Mm. Mm. He's thinking, I just love mice. <laughs> After. What do you say, put on salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. <laughs> After office hours, Mrs. DeSoto molded a tooth of pure gold and polished it. Raw with salt indeed, muttered Dr. DeSoto. How foolish to trust a fox. Uh, now they talking it over. See, see Mrs. DeSoto, she, oh, she's shining up and polishing up the gold tooth. See, I would think a fox would like a gold tooth. You I know. think so. so most, a, lot, a lot of people just have another white tooth made, but a fox, mm. he would want a gold tooth. And she's shining. Up. Look, she's pedaling on her little machine that grinds it and smooths it. But y'all, look at Dr. DeSoto. I like he got him a sports shirt on and got him a, a jacket on. And he's talking to his wife. They worried about, look, she having a little cup of tea there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fuck. <laughs> he didn't know what he was saying, said Mrs. DeSoto. Why should he harm us? We're helping him. Because he's a fox, said Dr. DeSoto. They're wicked, wicked creatures. That night, the DeSotos lay awake worrying. Should we let me. him in tomorrow? Mrs. DeSoto wondered. They can't sleep, they worry so. Once I start a job, said the dentist firmly, I finish it. My father was the same way. But we must do something to protect ourselves, said his wife. They talked and talked until they formed a plan. I think it will work, said Dr. DeSoto. A minute later, he was snoring. Now, y'all go love this. Don't leave now, because it is funny. Mama's, daddy's, grandma's, grandpa's, everybody don't leave, because this is funny. Okay, now, wait a minute, he's coming back, right? Okay. The next morning, promptly at 11, a very <laughs> cheerful fox turned up. See, he's not hurting anymore. He Look. was feeling <laughs> not a particle of pain. When Dr. DeSoto got into his mouth, he snapped it shut for a moment, then opened wide and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha just a joke. <laughs> Be serious, said the dentist sharply. We have work to do. His wife was lugging the heavy tooth up the ladder. Watch this now, watch. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I love it, exclaimed the fox. It's just beautiful. Dr. DeSoto set the gold tooth in its socket and hooked it up to the teeth on both sides. The fox caressed the new tooth with his tongue. My, it feels good, he thought. I really shouldn't eat them. On the other hand, how can I resist? Mm. We're yeah. not finished yet, said Dr. DeSoto, yeah. holding up a large jug. I have here a remarkable preparation developed only recently by my wife and me. See, it's a little joke. They, 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 they're going to trick it now. It's gonna With be just one application, you can be rid of toothaches forever. How would you like to be the first one to receive this unique treatment? I certainly would, <laughs> the fox declared. I'd be honored. He hated any kind of personal pain. You will never have to see us again, said Dr. DeSoto. No one will see you again, said the fox to himself. <laughs> see, he's thinking he's going to eat you. He's so bad. <laughs> he had definitely made up his mind to eat them with the help of his brand new tooth. Dr. DeSoto stepped into the fox's mouth with a bucket of secret formula and proceeded to paint each tooth. He hummed as he worked. 
Mrs. DeSoto stood by on the ladder, pointing out the spots he had missed. The fox looked very happy. And look, y'all, look at her. She said, I wonder what his name was, DeSoto. Right, his name was Dennis. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> and she said, look up there, darling. You didn't get that, get that one over there on the right. He said, open your mouth there, Mr. Mr. Fox. Look at that. He's getting it done. Okay, now watch. Let's go see what's going on. When the dentist was done, he stepped out. Now, close your jaws tight, he said, and keep them closed for a full minute. The fox did as he was told. Then he tried to open his mouth, but his teeth were stuck together. Ah, uh, excuse me, I should have mentioned, said Dr. DeSoto, you won't be able to open your mouth for a day or two. The secret formula must first permeate the dentine, but don't worry, no pain ever again. The fox was stunned. He stared at Dr. DeSoto, then at his wife. They smiled and waited. All he could do was say, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, trying to say thank you very much with your teeth. You shut together, let's go one, two, three. Thank, thank you very much. much. <laughs> Through his clenched teeth and get up and leave. He tried to do so with dignity. I guess he knew it, that they had tricked him, don't you, Bill? Look, at there you go. And look, can you do that way? Look, can you make your eyebrows look like that? <laughs> okay. Then <laughs> he, he stumbled down the stairs in a daze. Mm -hmm. Dr. DeSoto and his assistant had outfoxed the fox. They kissed each other and took the rest of the day off. <laughs> the end. I hope they went somewhere and got, uh, what would they have, a grilled cheese sandwich. That would have been good. That would have been good. <laughs> Listen, that was a funny, funny story. You have to admit that that was one of the really good stories. That's good, not one of his favorite stories. <laughs> <laughs> that was written by Mr. William Stig, the same man that wrote, you remember Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, and Sylvester turned himself into a rock? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Mr. Stig died several years ago, but oh, he was a marvelous yeah. author. Mm -hmm. Isn't it wonderful to be able to make up stories and draw pictures like that? It is. I hope you enjoyed that as much as me and Miss Laura enjoyed reading it to it to you. I guess we better tell them goodbye. You ready? Okay. Bye, 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 bye. We're glad you came today. Bye, 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 bye. We're glad you came to play. Bye, bye. <laughs>